Well, hello folks, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Skyrim, which has... It's been a while since I've recorded this, in case I'm a bit rusty and stuff. I'll just get out, get that out of the way right now. Um, I have just gone through a huge period of um, university exams and um, coursework deadlines and things like that, which meant I had sort of very little time to actually play and record stuff. So I have been uploading over the past few weeks a epic, epic backlog of videos I built up. Um, and now... I'm playing this the day before, in fact, that it's actually going to get uploaded, so it's a bit more recent. Anyway, we're standing on a frozen hillside. Yes, we do feel chilly. Um, north of... Sol north ish of Solitude, because pre previously we um, caused a bit of a ruckus at the Thalmor Embassy. But um, in doing so, <laughs> discovered that... Um, we need to head to Riften again, unfortunately, in order to track down a Blades agent by the name of Esburn, who is apparently some old coot that used to be a Blades archivist or something. Here, and he he may apparently know something about the dragons, according to um, the Thalmor. Anyway, so the, the, even if we're not looking for him, they certainly will be looking for him. So it's in our interest to go find that fella as soon as possible. However. In the meantime, I, uh, well, we need to get somewhere warm, for starters, but I thought, actually, what it might be a nice idea to do is go and fetch Nostra's helmet from Shadow Green Cavern. Some of you may recall back, way back in Chapter 1, I believe, we went on a quest to retrieve the helmet of a poor ex-legionary living in, oh, do bugger off, um, Living in solitude. However, the place was guarded by spriggans and, you know, enchanted green glowing bears and stuff. And so I decided I wanted nothing to do with it. And uh, promptly left after being killed a couple of times. So, anyway, I thought what we'd do is head on back there. Besides, the place is quite a nice campsite. We camped there last time we were in this sort of predicament. Um, so, anyway, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I've made a few changes to my mod setup. Um, this I will endeavour to remember to actually put in the description. However, anyway, um, some people suggested that I give manual crossbow reload a try. So I did. Uh, what it does is means that I have to manually reload my crossbow. And you may be thinking, what the hell would you want to do that for? Um, well, because when you automatically reload a crossbow, and you may have seen this, me, me fall, fall, fall prey to this a few times, especially in dragon fights. When, you, when the crossbow automatically reloads after firing normally, you get stuck in this animation loop that prevent, that kind of sticks you in walking mode. It prevents you from running. Um, and so what this mod basically does is it, you know, look, empty crossbow now. I can run around and take cover if needs be, and then I can reload the crossbow at my leisure once I'm behind cover or something. Which is, you know, a pretty small mod, but, um... A pretty awesome one, in my honest opinion, actually. So there you go. Um, I installed that because people suggested it, and thank you for suggesting it, because I didn't know it existed until you actually mentioned it, so... Uh, let's see what else. I Oh, I've installed the other uh, Warburg 3D paper map thingy mill jigger. Um... I did this quite a while ago, actually, um, immediately after I finished playing the last vid the last episode of this, um, because I was doing a lot of mod testing over the last couple of weeks. So I didn't have time to record new episodes, but I decided to muck about with mods in the meantime. So And I saw installed this, the main reason being, um, I like this one actually because it's more detailed. Um, it has more detailed like roads and things on it, and it actually has cool stuff marked on it, like, good, like Gunyar's Monument over here, or Jukar's monument or whatever it is. Borgers Cliffs, um, Stone Hills, Frostflow Lighthouse, you know, it's, it's great. It's, um, I actually prefer this, um, and it has these sort of, sort of contoured detailed bits which make the mountains and stuff a little less bizarre to look at when you're looking straight down at them and that sort of thing. And, um, I don't know, I just prefer maps like this which have lots of little bits on them like that. Um, like Darkwater Crossing down there and that sort of thing. Kynes Grove. Etc. Etc. Et I just like it more. It reminds me more of the old uh, Middle Earth maps I used to have in my old copies of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So um, it always had lots of funny little details on them, which the the default Skyrim style Warburg map didn't really have on it. To be fair, so I decided to go with this one instead. Um, oh, just water saving. Good stuff. 
What else? Um, oh, I installed, because people have been nagging me to do it anyway for ages, and I thought I might as well. I installed Skyfalls and Sky Mills, which is basically the... Oh, good grief. Oh! Goodness me. Um... Oh, uh, and more of these idiots. Oh. <laughs> Never going to be free of these clowns, am I? Um, I, um... Oh, what the hell now? What are you doing? Now, now. What the... Oh, my goodness. It's right, silver hand. Yeah, look, kill the one who's actually in werewolf form, why don't you? I love the level there. That's kind of cool. Look, dude. Friend. I am friend. I am one of you. Oh, okay. Seems to get the the idea. <laughs> Alright then. You uh, you have fun <laughs> killing Silver Hand, so I don't have to. Um, anyway, I'm losing track of my train of thought here. I, um. Oh, we're nearly there. Right. I, uh, yeah, installed, basically what what this mod does is it, 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 I can't really point it out to you right now, but it basically just animates the distant waterfalls and windmills in the game, um, which is good, because I, they always looked friggin' hideous when you had these static, non-moving waterfalls in the distance, I thought, so I uh, finally got that on there, and I discovered while I was mod testing that this, the rain in Skyrim looks actually hideous, it's really, really crap looking, so I installed a splash of rain. I was, for some reason, really bothered by the fact that none of the rain was splashing on the ground, and I don't think it previously bothered me that much, it's just I was playing quite a bit of Stalker recently, and Stalker, with the Autumn Aurora mod, um, has, like, some of the best rain effects I've seen in a game, um, so... Oh, for heaven's sake! So, <laughs> Going from that to this was actually a bit jarring when it started raining during one of my mod testing sessions I was doing. So I thought, uh, mm, I think I'll fix that. So there you go. Anyway, not not terrifically interesting stuff, but uh, it's there nonetheless. Now then. Oh, and I also have an FXAA injector installed. It's kind of an old mod, made a bit made pr pretty much obsolete by the widespread use of ENBs in the modding community these days, but I discovered this thing. I used to use it ages ago, actually, back in back when Skyrim first came out. But um, I rediscovered it and decided to install it, and it's basically, it's it's like a very basic ENB that has a tool outside the game that you can use to customise and, you know, change it and stuff like that. So the game might look a little nicer now. I don't know. Probably not immediately noticeable in the environment we're in at the minute, but there are some places where it is noticeable, and it's a nice change, so... Right. Here we are. I'm probably freezing cold and everything, aren't I? Uh, let's... Oh, dear, dear me. My skills are probably rubbish as well as result. Oh, good grief, yeah. Um, uh, stamina. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. What to do with this perk then? I hadn't really given this much thought. Throw it in a wayfarer, I suppose. Um, Twenty-five percent more resistance against poisons. It's, uh, not an issue. Werewolf, after all. Uh, you can collect and place bear traps. All right. What does this, what does this lead to then? Physical damage from... okay. Two ingredients are gathered from plants. Hmm. What are these ones up here? Chosen Fiend. You'll deal 10% more damage and take 5% less damage from any creature whose lore you know. Oh. You can use the tracking ability to detect all creatures around you in a 100 feet radius. Only works on living creatures whose lore you know. Hmm. Unlock secondary effects for armor crafted in foreign lands by, by different cultures. Weird. More predators. You acquire better knowledge about all kinds of spriggan, saber cats, and ice wraiths. Okay. Not sure how useful all of this is, really. If we're honest. Um. 
Mm. Non-harmful shots are 10% more effective and last 10% longer. I'm not, I'm not really in the business of using many non-harmful shouts, really, am I? Persuasion attempts are 30% easier. Mm -hmm. Could make better health potions. Or better poisons. Ugh, ugh, yeah, it's just it's not helpful when you've not played the game for a while and suddenly you're thrust into a level up screen. It just, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a pain. Oh, I know what I need, actually. I need dwarven rigging. I need dwarven rigging so I can melt down dwarven stuff. Been needing that for ages. Um, right then, okay, that, that decision was fairly easy in the end. Right, okay, hello, rabbit. Alright, well. I could make a camp here instead of pressing further on in. Before pressing further on in, even, but... I don't know, I'm feeling a little impatient. Now, I'm... When when planning to come here, I was tempted, once I got here, actually, to go into werewolf form and just go to town on these guys. But, it has occurred to me that actually going into werewolf form against non-human opponents... Hello. Are you... Oh, are you not attacking me because I'm a werewolf? That's... Odd. But okay. Um, the other wolves tend to attack me when I'm a werewolf, but you you guys don't for some reason. Um, yeah, I've noticed that I can't feed on things that well until I get a perk. Anyway, I can't feed on non-humans when I kill them. So killing creatures and monsters and animals in werewolf form isn't that helpful actually because I can't consume their hearts and get more perks and become more powerful because the problem with my werewolf form at the minute is that murdering rabbits, okay the problem with my werewolf form at the minute is that it's incredibly weak but in order to make it more powerful I need to get more perks but I can't do that if I'm just fighting bears and spriggans so uh oh Take that. Yeah, I'm incredibly weak in Werewolf Fall on it. I mean, there are a lot of perks you can get, especially with Moonlight Tales, to increase your effectiveness in Werewolf Form. That, that is, this is true. Um, I tried installing Werewolf Mastery. Um, it didn't quite work entirely as it should have done. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I was clearly doing something wrong because I wasn't getting the MCM menu it was supposed to give me, um, no matter how I did it. Uh, so I couldn't I couldn't make myself more powerful that way, unfortunately, because people had suggested it. But um, it was no good for me anyway because I was doing it wrong because I'm a dumbass basically. Doesn't really matter. I'm, I I I am more powerful in this form at the end of the day and. Uh, I don't know. I think there's a part of Claudius that feels a little bit dirty every time he goes into werewolf form. Oh, nearly. Come on. Enough of that health regeneration nonsense. Oh, dear me. Gosh, I can't even jump now. I'm so low on stamina. Oh. Oh, good. It is, it is regenerating. Thank goodness for that. Where is this Nern root? I need to stop that noise. It's annoying. Shut up. Ooh. Shut up. There we go. Peace and quiet at last. And in here, if I'm not mistaken, it, ooh, good grief, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello, um, thank you very much. Noster's helmet. There we go. That was quite the loot drop. Um, <laughs> crikey, bloody hell! Ebony armor, Claudius. That's not to be sniffed at. 
I'm, I'm still fairly attached to the wolf armor, to be honest, but... Gotta admit, it's got a certain coolness to it. And it's not like it doesn't completely clash with the wolf armor, is it? Mm. I just got, I kind of don't like the unprotected neck on this thing, actually. That's, this has always bothered me about the ebony armor in this game, actually. Come to think of it. Oh, it it's, it's always kind of looked a bit odd to me, but hey, whatever. Hmm. How does it look like with on warm sands? If on warm sands is here, it's apparently not. Why not? Oh god, I gave it to, um. I friggin' gave it to Delphine, I think. Ah. That's a pain. Oh well. Um. At least I had the foresight to give the. give, give my cloak to her. Uh, resist magic or resist frost? Probably resist frost. At least I had the foresight to give Malborn my cloaks. My magic ones, anyway. Um. That's a pain. Oh! Yeah, I forgot she took all my bloody stuff. Ah. Oh. Oh, never mind. Still, the ebony arm is pretty cool. Gotta admit. I might just give it to Greg, to be honest. <laughs> or maybe the Swamp Knight, come to think of it. Um, but she'd like a suit of ebony armor. I like the stamina regen effect on it, though. That's the thing. I really like that. But the thing is, it's magic, and it's ebony, so I can't craft this thing up at all. Um, and, and between you and me, viewers, there are other armors in the game I kind of want to use. The, aside from ebony, that are better than ebony or on the same level as ebony. So, you know. 336 versus 282. <laughs> Grief, it is a big difference, isn't it? But I'm, I'm feeling a little overpowered at the minute, to be honest with you. So I don't think I actually need ebony armor at this juncture. I'm going to lug it around with me for certain. And like I said, probably give it to Anim La or something. But for now. Think good. Alright then. Middle of the night. Um, I could pop into werewolf form and go charging off back in the direction of solitude, but. Eh, I don't know. How easy. Oh, we'd we we probably have to go all the way around there, wouldn't we? It's just awkward being in werewolf form. Because I can't easily get out of werewolf form. <laughs> mm. Good setup. Oh, th th that said, do I even have any firewood? No. No, great. So I'd have to spend a couple of hours chopping down trees. <sighs> I think I'm going to go for an, an evening jog, folks. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, well. Let's hope I don't accidentally come across any guards or innocents that um, try to kill me on the way, eh? All right, here we go. Chilly, even in werewolf form. Oh, that's odd. My custom werewolf skin is not displaying itself. I don't know, that this irritates me somewhat. I. Uh. Oh, I have a werewolf perk. Sweet. I did not notice that. 50% more damage. That's not really an issue. 100 point bonus to health and stamina in beast form. It's a bit more like it. Feeding heals twice as much health. See, there's quite a few here you can get. Um. Totems and stuff as well, but uh, yeah, mm. maybe I need to try and get werewolf mastery working because this just ain't quite cutting it. I mean, it's a shame there aren't multiple ranks of animal vigor, uh, really, because you know there aren't. There, whatever. Oh yeah. Excuse me, Moonlight Tales. What, what, what exactly do you think you're playing at? 
Ah, it's kind of vanilla for some reason. Oh, this is probably as a result of me attempting to install my Wolf Mastery now I, can, now I think about it. Oh. Right, okay, I have only myself to blame in that case. Um, well, it's, where, where was... I think it was that one. That's the one I had before. Oh, sorry for this immersion-breaking moment, viewers, but, um... Well, whatever. There we go. Back to our old self. In inverted commas. Oh, that's a confused lunatic. Hey, I'm on your side. Confused bloody lunatic. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm, whoa, okay. Different kind of confused lunatic. See you later, guys. I'm off. <laughs> night vision. Although, to be honest with you, I don't really need night vision. It's, it's kind of, it's remarkably bright out here, to be fair. Um, oh, great, I can't get the map up in werewolf form. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not very helpful. Alright, well, I think it, I think we need to be going this way-ish. East, yeah. Yeah, here's the road. There's really something kind of sad about the fact that I've resorted to using beast form as a means of speedier travel. <laughs> oh, really? You know, I've... I mean, it's a viable use of the the the, the ability, I suppose. It's just, I don't know, just kind of missing the point of it a bit, isn't it? I suppose. With Farkas and all that being like, oh, it's a gift, it makes it so powerful. Blah, blah, blah. I'm, not, I'm not really convinced, Farkas, honestly. <laughs> I seem to be far more adept at killing things when I'm uh, in human form, actually. But hey, uh, whatever. I believe there's an alternative way to get Werewolf Tail. I mean, so what am I on about? Um, werewolf Mastery working, I think, is by crafting some sort of ring at a crafting station, which you can then use to adjust stuff which I may give a try if if it's actually installed properly so I think that's another way of doing it but it's supposed to give you an M extra options in the MCM menu but it hasn't so at least I don't think it has but I can double check well skins moon phases uh, music, sound, general, NPC claw damage bonus, what the heck is that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I should probably switch that off. Otherwise, you get uh, you <laughs> you get Ayla, Farkas, and Vilkas sometimes accidentally transforming into werewolves in public, which is always a bit of a disaster. So, um, um, yeah, I don't see it on here anyway. It's just all the trackers and then the debug. So, yeah, I'm getting pretty close to town. Well, very close to town now, actually. Should uh, oh, that was fortunate timing. All right then. Well. Give it a second, it will re-equip my stuff. The script is a bit laggy. There we go. Uh-oh. That may have been... Oh dear. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Hi, by the way. Oh, it's the Khajiit traders. Whoa, there, hold on there, folks. Um, I'll come quietly. I think you have a very funny idea of committing crimes against anything. Um, but... What? 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 Excuse me? Excuse me? What? Why can't I pay? What is going on? Halfinger bounty, 1,040 gold, right. 
So how much money do I have? 200... Oh my goodness. What the hell did all my money go? Um... Would you like this ebony armor of rejuvenation? <laughs> oh, good grief. Um... Oh, God, if I'd just hidden back a bit further behind there, this wouldn't be an issue. Come on, just... Seriously, I will kill you. If you're just going to go to town on me on account of me being a werewolf and not doing any harm, then... You know what? If I'm supposed to keep the secrets of the companion safe, I might just have to kill you, you know. Nothing personal or anything, but... Um... You're also really annoying me right now, so you're kind of asking for it. Problem is, I'm never going to kill the witnesses now, and my bounty's just going to freaking increase, and... Oh, uh, no, forget it. I'm reloading. Right after this kill cap. <laughs> oh, I got killed anyway. Cool. Um, really? All the way back there? God, this autosave mod's a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> Alright, we're just outside town again now. I'm not going to go any further than this. Um, I called BS, frankly, on them spotting me earlier. Um, but hey, whatever. Game mechanics are the game mechanics, so... Let's just deal with it. I think we'll be done soon. It's lasting a little longer this time, on account of the fact that um, on my way down here I ate three silver hand. <laughs> I mean, they were there, and I was hungry, so... Well... They didn't get ambushed by a werebear this time, so, um... I... Well... I dined. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Do not like the silver hand, so... Anyway... Right, yeah, it doesn't look like I've got any bounty this time. I do apparently have 40... A bounty of 40 gold here. I'm not really sure how that came about, but I've got it. So, but this is just 40 gold. Who gives a damn? Um, however, having said I was going to give that ebony armor to Adam Lar, I'm beginning to think I might, maybe I should sell it, because apparently I have no money. <laughs> um, poor as a church mouse at the minute. Can't remember how that happened exactly, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. Killed the silver hand pretty easily, actually. Now I think about it. I'm, I'm afraid it, I don't think you guys saw it because I wasn't recording at the time. But uh, yeah, killed them pretty easily. So maybe I'm underselling the werewolfiness a bit. It seems to be okay against um, humanoid opponents, although. My big scary howl that's supposed to make them run away didn't actually work on them. But then again, I suppose they're dedicated werewolf hunters, so that seems almost fair enough. So whatever, you know. I mean. Hello, world. I don't really need this night vision at the minute, do I? The night's just not very dark. I suppose I've really more got the night vision mod installed just for dark caves, because they get really dark in this game for some reason. The general sort of night time, though, ain't so much of a big deal. I guess I'll endeavour to enable it just as much as I can, though, because I know how... YouTube likes to darken videos artificially for some silly reason. And there needs to be an alternate version of YouTube where you, I don't know, you just hit a, hit a button and it, the, it makes the page black instead of white because half the problem is with that white background it makes everything in the video seem darker. Just, that's just how the human eye works. Seems very odd for a video website. I don't know why they just don't make the background black. Instead, it would make more sense, at least to me. But whatever. Alright, so... We've got... The collection, a small collection of documents from Thalmor Embassy. Uh, we... Um... We need to go to Riften. I also need to stop by Whiterun on the way back. But, um... Well, we all, oh, and we also need to uh, need to uh, 
heck is up with? Oh, it's the shadow from that. And what? Why are there explosions? Guards, are you not fussed by the fact that there are explosions in the distance? <laughs> There's something going on over here, guys. Come on. Oh, good grief. Uh, I should use unrelenting force a bit more often now that I have the full, you know. Oh, vampires. Great. Wonderful. Uh, I hate these things. You want a bet, do you? Oh, Christ. Okay. It's a bit too soon there, I think. Um, doesn't matter. I've got actually quite a few potions. Oh, okay. I need to do that more often. Well, you're pretty tough, aren't you? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's have one of those. Just have one of those, and oh, stamina potion. Why the hell not? I never use those things. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, now it's just you. Uh, lovely to know the guards are being very proactive around here about this vampire menace, by the way. Do I have to do everything for you people? And then when I have the audacity to turn into a werewolf every now and again, you hunt me down. Ugh. Yeah, I'll take that though. Just uh, the cheek, you know? Oh, apparently we're not done. <laughs> All right then, come on. Oh, it's a goddamn death hound. Apparently chewing on a small child. Okay. You are very lucky. Everyone under the age of eighteen in 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 Skyrim is is invincible, kid. You really are. Although it might explain why in so many fantasy games the kid's the only one who ever survives the village being burnt down. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. Uh, oh dear, Greta is dead. R.I.P. Greta. What happened? Vampires, mate. Could have used a hand, honestly, but don't worry about it, I guess. <clears throat> Can I get some rest now? That would be nice. Greg and Animal are waiting for me here. I think they are. I'm pretty sure this is where I left them. Um, uh, uh, grief. Freaking auto saves. Hello, Gregor. Gregory. What is it, Thane? How you doing? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna give you that armor. I'm really not. I think I'm just gonna sell it because you look cool in your weirdly Dark Souls esque Swamp Knight gear. Um. Greg looks fine in his Nordic carved armor, and I need the money, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to sell it, actually. Eh, whatever. Okay, then, so... Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Tell very much. You your room. No, no, it's fine. I already know that... Um... <sighs> no 
Oh, you've been in, you've been entertaining the patrons of you, Greg, with your incessant chatter. Good stuff. Oh, get a move on, Copula, seriously. This one's a favorite of mine. A legend we all know and love. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh, uh, you could tell that bard to stop bloody singing. That'd be nice. I tell you, I tell you. Okay, so a minor point of interest, when I was going on about how I had this new FXAA injector thingy installed, well, that whole time it wasn't actually activated. <laughs> so it didn't look any different from the normal game. Uh, it's activated now, though. You might be able to notice it's slight different in terms of the lighting and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's kind of like an ENB, except it isn't an ENB, and therefore it will work with DX Tori. Um, which is the problem with regular ENBs that I had. So anyway, yeah, I get the name, I get the game to look a bit nicer with some better lighting effects, and I can still record it, which is nice. So and it's highly customizable. The sliders and bars all over the damn thing that you can customize outside the game. So anyway, um, we've had breakfast and all that. I suppose we better give Nostra his helmet. Hello. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Found your helmet. Look at it. That's real Nord craftsmanship, that is. Really? Let me show you an old trick I learned as a scout. Makes it harder for the enemy to notice you. Ah. Well, wasn't terrific so useful, but thanks anyway. Glad to do a service for an old legionary. Um. Okay then, so. I think we better skedaddle, really. Um. I would normally go shopping for potions at this point, but since I don't really have any money, it's, a, it's not really going to happen, is it? Um, I've decided I'm going to go on a selling spree when I get back to Whiterun, uh, rather than do it here. Just because it'll be more convenient over there. Um, so let's get moving. So, we're not going directly back to Whiterun. Uh, or Riften, we're gonna go pop off into the marshes for a little bit, try and find this friend of Adam Lars for this quest of hers. Um, following that, however, we are gonna pop back to Whiterun, give Cod like the severed head we've got, um, and then gallop off in the general direction of Riften. Um, and let's see if we can try and find Esburn. So, and then, oh, and see Delphine at Riverwood while, while we're there, because, um, I, think by now I, I want my stuff back. Right, there are your horses. Where the bloody hell's mine? Ugh, oh, well, you know what, I have an item that deals with this problem. Uh, mm hmm. Oh, there we go. Hey, what did I say about doing that, guys? Don't do it. It's really cheesy and silly looking. Stop it. Oh, dear. Anyway, right, so... Okay, well, temptation now is to just get this carriage back to Whiterun. Oh, you'll notice, by the way, I'm wearing this bear claw uh, cloak instead of the wolf one. Just, I don't know, for the sake of variety, I thought I would. Um... Ugh, the game's very contrasty, you know, I haven't sold this FXAA thing. I think it reset all my presets I had for it, because for some reason it got disabled, and I had to really enable it, and now it's gone all weird, but never mind. Um, so we kind of need to get across here, actually, because... Uh, let me just activate it in the damn journal, that'd be a good start. Um, Blood's Honor? No, Honor's Calling, there we go. Um, yeah, it's... There we need to go. So at the camp near Folgenther. So it's actually deceptively close on the map, and fortunately it means we have to swim across a river. Well, either that or we have to go all the way down to Dragon Bridge, then cross over, and then all the way up here, which is a pain in the arse, really, a royal one. Um 
So, but again, then again, I don't really want to get wet out here because then I will quite likely freeze to death. So I guess we're going to take the long way around because it's I really don't have any other choice. It's irritating as that is. Um, that's just what's going to have to happen. Never mind. I think I'll skip ahead for a bit. Oh, you've got to be joking. Bugger off! Go away! Seriously. Sod off. Oh, good grief. This is going to be a barrel of laughs, isn't it? Oh, boy. Can I reload on horseback? I can. I like this mod. Um, uh, ancient glass golem. Really? Really? You picked today of all days, did you, ancient glass golem, to assault random travellers on the road for no good reason? You felt that was necessary, did you? Absurd! I'm getting off the horse. There we go. Ugh. At least I got some Malachi ore out of it, I suppose, but... Whoa, whoa, horse, come back here, you... Where the hell do you think you're going? Ugh. My life is such a joke sometimes, it really is. Mm. Alright, we stand at the edge of the marsh, dear friends. And somewhere around here should be Anomla's quote unquote old friend, whoever that person might actually be. Oh, shut up, Greg. Honestly, you babbling about the Forsworn is slowly becoming the new arrow into the knee. It really is, mate. No one cares about the Forsworn. So shut it. I hear mud crabs or spiders. Something like that. Something with an exoskeleton. Oh, good. The very worst kind of exoskeleton creature, in fact. Ugh. I hate those things. Oh. Ugh. Right. Alright, it's, it's kind of due east, really, from here. This way. Something hostile out there. Uh, whatever. It seems to be ignoring us. <sighs> Gosh, you know what? The marsh does look quite nice, doesn't it? <laughs> I do like this FXAA mod. I mean, honestly, I recommend if you, for personal use, just use a bloody ENB. They're much simpler and they look better, but considering I'm handicapped by the unique. Um, well, problem of having to use DX Sorry whenever I play Skyrim because I'm recording it. Um, this isn't a bad uh, substitution, really. To be fair, I mean you combine it with like Dynavision and that, and you've got most of the nice ENB effects there. I mean, you just I can't quite get it looking the way you can with some very, very, very nice ENBs because they 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 kind of just sort of do stuff automatically automatically by themselves. Whereas this one is a lot more primitive. I mean, it came out looking... I think I remember I had a look at the mods page. And apparently it came out like... Oh my goodness. All right, over here. Apparently it came out, I think, in the, in the year that Skyrim was released. So it's pretty ancient technology, really. <laughs> uh, we're missing something here. Oh, 
kind of can't decide whether or not we're supposed to be listening in or not, Greg. <laughs> Seems kind of rude, but whatever. I don't know. She was found dead in her room at the Oak Enclosure in Corolla. It's not the sort of establishment where an assassin can slip in unnoticed. The gray beards are a solid. Shut up! Off. I don't think they've entered True. outside their There's monastery. There's a reason I sought her. The same reason I'm here with you now. Ilya isn't the only one. Oh, one fire. It started with Ula Wei. At the time, I was disheartened, yet I was far from surprised. The shadow skill builds a ledger of enemies that runs longer than a leviathan's tail. However, while mourning one friend, there came news of two more. Arnwolf and Moontail had perished as well. By the fist. What about the others? Talame? Kendrill? They're fine, as far as I know. The first thing I did was seek Talame's counsel. He was surprised to see me, but gracious as always. When I told him of what happened, he asked that I warn you and Elia, whereas he would stay and search for Indrel. Although, to be honest, the Bosmer did not concern me as much anything? as you do. You know as well as I do that no one will ever find her, so long as she doesn't want to be found. Elia. Why? A question without an answer, or perhaps far too many. When we were a company, there were no shortage of people who wanted us dead. Together, we could always fend them off. Apart, we are at their mercy. When we band together one last time, we take the fight to anyone and everyone who dares kill one of our own. My friend, I see time hasn't frayed your passion. The problem is our enemy has not a face. Forgive me, Bodhan. All those years. All those lessons. And sometimes I wonder if I've learned anything at all. You were always his favorite. And in this case, you aren't in the wrong. Aggression may be what is needed. However, our best weapon at this point is our wits, not our blades. I've done some research on our past jobs, and it appears... So, do you get that weird taste in your mouth before battle too? Silence, you oaf, honestly. I mean, I'm not sure I'm meant to be eavesdropping, but... It seems one of his agents is in Falkley, attempting to secure a fur deal with the local hunters. I have other leads as well, which I myself will attend to. If you can vet this one, perhaps we can narrow down our suspects. I keep thinking I see something moving in the shadows. Be safe, old friend. I know this isn't your fight, Traveler. But whoever killed the others must be one damn good fighter. And I'd feel better if you were by my side. Oh, uh. mm. they are saying Sorry about your friends. Yeah. As am I. It seems like I'm always mourning someone. There will be plenty of time for that, though, when this business is done. For now, I just want to do right by the ones that are living. Mm. Is it wise to leave Bodan by himself here, come to think of it? It's not. And I don't mean from assassins, but from himself. Odan never really got oh, over don't talk about life. him like he's not present. I don't know if I told it's you rude. This, but every day he was with us was a fight to keep him alive. Dalum A used vengeance to motivate him. Looking into his eyes, I wonder if that's all but settled. But honor is a funny thing. Sometimes it trumps even love. We may not be a company, but he never abandon us now. If he thinks this is the best way to go about it, then I trust him. It's a shame your company couldn't reunite in the better circumstances, I suppose. 
Truth be told, it was always going to be in death. Maybe that's what the mourners' clothes were for. So when I saw them next, at least I'd be properly attired. I never thought I would be mourning them in this way. Uh, are you going to be all right? No, I don't think I'm going to be all right. Not for a while. I'm going to be confused, frustrated, and angry. Still, I appreciate the concern, Traveler. At times like this, I'm reminded what it is I value most. And why I have to see this through. Um, okay then. So... I'm right behind you. Okay. Uh, so we're, um... Let me get this straight. We're bringing a severed head back to Whiterun to... Uh... Excuse me. Will do. Right, so we've got to go back to the White Run to deliver a severed head for some sort of ritual. We've got to go to Riften to find some old coot who knows something about dragons before he gets killed by the Thalmor. And we need to go track down an assassin who is killing Anemlar's friends. They really ought to say on the job description for Dragonborn must be good at multitasking. Because um, I'm beginning to think it's a very important requirement. <laughs> 